Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video we are back on Spirit Hunter's Infinite Horde and today I want to show you how to farm these this currency over here. It is the most effective way because uh, the, there's two ways to do it. The first way is uh, to complete the levels on brutal difficulty which is what it says brutal so monsters have 300% increased HP 40% increased movement speed they do uh, three times more damage and our hero speed is luckily increased so I mean if you compare that to uh, you know just hard they, they've got a little bit of health increase but so here they foster, they do more damage and they got increased HP. So if you are struggling with Brutal but you do want this currency uh, to spend in the map on, uh, you know, uh, getting Brutal mode on other things and or unlocking some of your uh, Brutal unlocks, your Brutal damage unlocks, then this is the way to do it. So we're going to start off the run. We are going to use Conrad and we are going to be starting off with the Shuriken. We're going to be playing in Lunar Caverns on hard mode. Now, even though it says that it's got zero times uh, on this currency, for some reason, you still get the currency at the end of the run. So very weird, but we are going to get straight into it. So hard mode on the Lunar Caverns with Conrad. And the skills that we are using are going to be Shuriken, Shackle, Magic Mines, and then I like to go for Jin as well. Uh, just for that extra damage. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run straight up and we're going to grab this first chest over here. It always for some reason has uh, a white, um, what's the word, like XP gem and that white XP gem gives you a whack ton of XP. So you can see we've already leveled up uh, three times off the start and that is fantastic. Now the damage, I mean the upgrades we're going to be looking for are going to be damage cost well cooldown <laughs> cost frequency uh, there's uh soulstone survivors talking a lot for me so we're going to be looking for uh, damage on everything and then also on the gin we actually do want increased range because that's going to help him uh, hit a lot of the enemies but that's more only for the like the end boss more than anything else because the boss is going to be uh, running around a lot and we're going to need that attacks uh, uh, distance so you know that is what helps with that explosive size on magic mines also very very good to go for and then we can make our way over to the top right over here there should always be a pet cage in the top right corner uh unfortunately oh, there we go there it is so in the top right there is pet cages so you've got to kind of just run around the map you're going to get yourself pet cages you're going to pick up all of the treasure chests and eventually we will get uh, bosses to spawn. Now the ones that I like to grab, Blocker is very good if you have him equipped uh, or unlocked. If you don't have him, then just the Chichon Rad is going to be really good. Chikon, Chicken, I guess we could just say Chicken but spelt weirdly. Um, so that's a really good one to get. And then the reason that we go for Conrad is that he has... Uh, his ability which knocks back enemies and then also gives you healing based on how many enemies you have knocked back so very very good ability very strong and very helpful for us so cooldown rate very very strong as well the main skill upgrade that we will be looking for cooldown will be on Jin as well as the magic man so as soon as we see cooldown we will be taking it on those skills Oh, prioritize that over everything else and then we are, can grab ourselves some more shurikens over here and we're gonna go grab the laugh and there's cooldown perfect more laugh over here and then we're just gonna run around opening up as many chests as possible this could be a very good map uh, for you to unlock the 20,000 gold in your inventory achievement if you haven't got that yet I haven't received it yet but it's not such a big thing for me now with cleave, uh, our plan is to go for echo shot as well as final shot. So we don't want slash increases. We want our echo, uh, our cleave to have as few attacks as possible before it actually sends off the final shot. So do make sure you do not upgrade your uh, amount of slashes on cleave 
if you want to use it. But I mean, because it is, uh, you know, the most melee skill that we do have, uh, we're probably going to see it doing the least amount of damage based off of everything else that we upgrade. All right, so damage increase for Jin, yes, please. We can go for a uh, damage increase for Cleave. That's just going to help us for when the enemies get too close. We found a nice early shop over here with a pet cage over there. That's fantastic. We're going to grab big techs over here. You don't have to, but we are. Uh, there's nothing else from the shop that we really want. We're not really interested in the ruins or anything like that. Although technically we are, but not for this specific thing. So if you are running this, you can grab those for yourself. Now over here, we do want to grab a mag slime. It's going to be very good. And then we also want to grab ourselves slither. Slither is going to increase our base damage. And that's just going to help us along the way. So we're going to just reroll a bit of gold over here until we find him. Doesn't look like he's showing up for us though, which is, ah, there we go, slather. So there we go, increase our base damage. So now we're going to be dealing more damage. And once he's level five, that's a plus 30 extra damage that we just got for free from our pet. So that's the reason we go for slather. A very nice increase to our damage there for free without having to stress too much about anything. All right, now the hardest part of this entire run comes at about seven minutes. Everything before then is you know, you can probably just stand still and heal the damage back from the chest and things like that. But once you get to the point where you get these uh, huge enemies that spawn, uh, they just seem to like really, really crowd you and you can get into a lot of trouble if you're not doing a lot of damage. So do try and make sure you have the most amount of damage possible before the six and a half minute mark. Otherwise, you might be struggling to survive. All right, so next and final uh, pet. Uh, actually, Chi Chi is also pretty good, or CC, whatever you want to call it. Instead of Big Text, you can go for that, or instead of Mag Slime. But we definitely need the Mandrake, and that's going to give us the extra crit chance that we might not be taking from our level ups in the skills. So, very, very good. And then let's just quickly go over mods. Mods we're looking for Shuriken. We don't want the AoE one, we want Ricochet only. Uh, the uh, magic mines, we want the shock mine, the Jin, we can take both of his, but you know, you don't need Val Aura, so it's just the shock. And then for Cleave, we're looking mostly for final shot, but both work very, very well as well. So very similar to Jin, you can just grab both of them and you'll be in a good place. So very good there. Increase the size of our magic mine pops. That's fantastic. It just means they're going to deal more damage to absolutely everything around them. So that's good there. We're going to increase his range one more level. That's going to help with damage. And then obviously once we get the cooldown to a respectable time, where it's like 0.3 seconds, you don't even have to worry about uh, whether or not Jin's attacking. You're going to see him shoot like a machine gun. It's pretty cool. All right. And now we're just going to do laps around the area uh, let's go and increase our magic mines damage that's fine because do everything in this map except for those big fire dudes really follows you around so having magic mine is fantastic for this it's just super super helpful killing things because they are following you what could be better so we're going to stand here they're going to die before they get to us which is fantastic and then we are going to increase Jin's range. That's also fantastic. Just turn around, kill that guy. That's perfect. Open up three chests without worrying. That's perfect. Now, the best thing about this as well is you get a whack load of all the different currencies. And what that means is, uh, after this run, I'll just show you. But what it means is that you can convert all of these currencies into the next available currency. And it just, it becomes even better and better in terms of farming and it's only a 10 minute map so you kind of got to if you are looking to grind uh, some of the items or some things like that and you're not really uh, wanting to spend 15 minutes on certain maps then you just got to load up lunar caverns and uh, it will be the best map for you and hard difficulty isn't too bad like you are seeing this is pretty much what happens the entire run and we just keep running around in large circles to try and get all the chests, uh, kill all the bosses, 
and try and unlock as much as possible. Finding yourself some shops along the way is also really, really fantastic. Okay, so that's a lot of bosses dead already. That's fantastic. Although it doesn't look like there's a lot that spawn, it feels like there are a whack ton that spawn, but that's good for us anyway. And these uh, dudes over here that spawn that have the auras around them, they do shoot a lot of projectiles at you. So that is why the projectile pet uh, could be very, very good here as well. So if you are struggling uh, with them killing you, then make sure you get the pet that reduces the damage of projectiles by five per level. So you could get quite a lot of uh, defenses from that as well if needed be. All right, so we actually have two pet cages here. That's cool. And two shops up there, so that's even better. But let's pick up these two pet cages. Oops, there we go. What did we get? We unlock another level in Slither. That's perfect. Another level in Mandrake. That's amazing. Here's another pet cage, so that's really, really good. We can just pop that. We didn't really hit a lot there, unfortunately, so we didn't get too much HP back. But we are going to open up some chests over here. The one person you don't want to play this level on is Sickle. Uh, Sickle does not get life back from uh, chests or from enemies or anything like that. So you don't really want to play with Sickle because you are going to need the laugh. Uh, or at least I need the laugh. So, <laughs> you know, I just assume everyone needs laugh like I do. And you're going to need to not play on Sickle to be able to do that. Alrighty, we are nearly at the six and a half minute mark like we mentioned earlier. I'll show you the big guys that do spawn. We are just going to buy everything over here. That's fantastic. Get more damage on Jin. He's already starting to shoot a lot faster, which is fantastic. So that's great. Is he critting a lot? No, he isn't. That's really unfortunate. So we are going to have to look for more levels on Mandrake so that we can get more crits done on our dear Jin. And then we're just going to stand over here. We don't take damage from these towers shooting their projectiles, but we get to open up every single chest that is around us. So that's really good. Fantastic. The only one we didn't open was the one on the very end. And here's the big guys that we were talking about. These guys are tanky and just take a lot of damage. So that's why we do have to just be careful of them. They do land up going... Uh, and like uh, circling around, not circling around you, but they do swarm you. That's the right word. Uh, so they land up swarming us and that's not something we really want. So we got to just be careful. You don't really want to stand still for too long. But at the same time, you need to stand still uh, because you want to kind of open up every single chest and everything like that. So we're going to pick up a magnet over there. Perfect. Uh, pick up another magnet because uh, we don't really want to have to stand close to things and if we can pick up XP and everything from further away that's going to help us as well. I do see another shop over there so that we're going to go and open and then try and look for these chests over here the bigger ones the ones that look more like a precious chest. Uh, you do get another chest that uh, is better than this one it's uh, like a multicolored jewel one those are the ones you really want, but uh, we're just going to have to go with what we're given. You can't really decide what chest spawns in the game, unfortunately. And Jin now has a 0.2 second cooldown, which is massive. Now he really, really, really is a machine gun, which is fantastic. He's going to be killing absolutely everything, which is perfect. And we do have increased size because of the character's passive, as well as... Uh, just, you know, having that pet that increases our projectile or our attack size as well. So that's really cool. All right, number of explosions for Magic Man. That's good. We did see a, a shop over here. So we're going to go and grab that. And as you can see, we've been pretty comfortable during the whole round. We haven't really, maybe I think once we worried about our life. But every other time, it's just been a really comfortable sale. And just buy everything. That's going to be a level grab ourselves more damage we don't even need more shuriken and here's more pets more sh gold this is cool if there are a lot of enemies around you just grab yourself i mean right click 
pushes everything back, it heals us as well, and that's just going to be that. Okay, increase the explosion size. What else can we go for over here? Increase the crit for the shurikens, sure. I think we are at a very high crit chance already, as you can see all the yellows numbers on this yellow num yellows numbers. <laughs> all the yellow numbers on the screen. So we are dealing a lot of crit, which is fantastic. And we've only got one more minute until the boss is spawned. We don't uh, we've only got one mod equipped so far, which is the shock man, which is what we wanted, so that's fantastic. But nothing else has really shown up, which is fun as well. We probably just don't, oh, well, we've actually got Val Aura, which I said we don't ne need. So there is that as well. All right, let's just purchase everything. That's fantastic. Get ourselves some free XP over there. We're not going to see any more chests for our pets, because I do believe all our pets are max level now. But there is a trick with pets. If you, let's say, wanted more damage, and you didn't really need the damage mitigation or anything like that. What you can do is only grab one pet, you can grab or two pets, and then you are able to level them up past level five. So if you did want your pets to have uh, better stats to them or to increase your stats, then you can do that by not using all of the pets, but rather buying a single top. Now this boss fight, a uh, very cool boss fight, uh, it's called the Harvester. He does not put a cage around him, so you don't have to worry about being in a specific area. Unfortunately, we couldn't get final shot sorted, but that's okay. As you can see, our damage is huge. We do just need to move away from him so he can't hit us with that. And the range on Jin is going to be high enough to kind of carry us, but if we wanted we could just chill like in a place and open up all of the chests that we actually left on the floor but as you can see there we managed to get some more just move out of the way of the aoe circles that drop but otherwise uh, you can see our life is really really hard and the boss is nearly dead he should die on the next uh, round of attacks so let's just move here where it's a bit of more of an open space and we're just going to wait for him to come back to us there we go you do have to destroy the pumpkins that are around him as well to deal damage, but once you've damaged those, fantastic. And you'll see now, as you can see, all of that currency, you do get about 40 to 50 of them uh, per run, and it's a two minute run if you are unable to do brutal. But 17,000 ruins, 13,000 crystals, 650 of the fire emblems or whatever they're called, and then 44 of these. It looks like it is 44 absolutely every run, and that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.